Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Tilted Media, and I just wanted to share a comparison video of the Samsung Galaxy Pro 8.4 versus the HTC or Google Nexus 9 and their compatibility with the DJI Inspire 1 video downlink. What you're looking at now is my pre-flight check where I'm caching the map inside the DJI application, turning off Wi-Fi, turning on airplane mode, closing the application, and then using a task killer before relaunching the applications on both devices. And I'm doing this to ensure the most fair and accurate comparison I can and hopefully get each device performing at its best. Now that we are in the air, we can see that the Samsung Galaxy Pro is on the left and the Google Nexus 9 is on the right. After I got some altitude, I realized that I needed to adjust the brightness of the screens. So what you're looking at here is both devices being set to their maximum brightness setting so that we may compare that as well as the video streaming. Okay, so we're gonna take the Inspire to about 105 feet here. It's directly above me, and the antennas are facing away from me, so it, it might affect the quality of the video downlink a bit. Um, doing a slow pan here to the left, you'll see the frame rate between the Galaxy Pro and the Nexus 9. And then I'll show you some faster flight here. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't have the budget for an Apple iPad Air 2, nor the Android Nvidia Shield. Um, those are all proven devices, according to the forums, to operate with the DJI pretty much flawlessly, or at least as best as you can get. So these two tablets aren't the first ones that I tried. I ended up with these at the same time while I was going through multiple options. And I've tried the next book for $80 from Walmart, the Google Nexus 7, as well as the Dell Venue 8. Um, and then now the Samsung Galaxy Pro and the Nexus 9. So between all of those options, I found that for the price and the performance that I've gotten so far, the Galaxy Pro is definitely, in my opinion, the way to go. Um, I bought this one as a display model for $164 from Best Buy. They are selling it online currently for $190 brand new versus the Google Nexus 9, which you see on the right. And I think the open box was about $342. So there's a big price jump there. As far as consistency is concerned, um, I would say either the Google Nexus 7 or in this case the Galaxy Pro 8.4 and uh, considering the fact that they're right around the same price, the Nexus 7 was about $150 from Fry's new, that's the second generation one. Um, it was. I guess in between the Galaxy Pro and the Nexus 9 performance wise, it does have a quad core processor. And I'm not sure if that's what's making the streaming more smooth um, from the Pro versus the Nexus 9, but I think it might have something to do with that. Overall, I think it honestly just this preference from the DJI application. I think there's a lot of improvements that can be done to make that better. Anyhow, 
I don't work for Samsung. I'm not trying to push the Galaxy Pro 8.4 on anyone. Uh, you can see for yourself the comparison between these two tablets. And I just really hope that it helps you out. I know when I was looking for the tablet, I had a really rough time trying to find information and see comparisons. So I hope this helps someone enjoy and take it easy.